Hey there, this is Casey from Creative Crafts and Stickers. We're here today talking about homemade Christmas crafts. One of the things that I love to make are homemade Christmas ornaments, and I'm going to share with you today some paper Christmas ornaments, in particular paper snowflakes or stars. We're going to start out with this. It's a template and it's downloadable. This is just one of six squares that I've cut out for demonstration purposes. The first thing that we're going to do is collect all of the things that we need to make this project. And it's really easy and really limited. The only thing we need is a straight edge and we need an X-Acto knife. So we have each of our squares already cut out. Then we're simply going to place our ruler against the line and we're going to take our X-Acto tool, our X-Acto knife, and we're going to cut along the line. and we're just going to follow each line. Now I have some of these already cut out and already prepared so that I can show you what they look like. As you can see, this one has already been cut out. I just followed all of the lines on both sides and it's real easy, real simple. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to start curling our edges. I like to just use my fingernail, but you can use anything you like or you can simply roll it. So we're just going to curl up the edges. We're going to start at the inside and we're going to curl inward. Both sides are going to curl toward one another. And we're going to be careful not to, not to uh, tear our paper. And I'm just using regular paper, regular printer paper. And as you can see, we just kind of curl the edges in. So it looks like that. I'm going to show you from the sides too. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to take the next layer, which is this one right here, and we're going to bend it the opposite direction that we, current, that we had just folded the other one in. And we're going to use our fingernail, or you could use a straight edge, it really doesn't matter. And you're going to curl these edges up. I'm going to do it on both sides so that we have two of them curling inward toward one another. The original place that I saw this online had them taping the edges together. So if you feel like you need to tape the edges together, feel free. I'm not going to, I'm just going to leave them kind of free. But I am going to bend them in so that they are touching. And then you're just going to continue you're going to take the next one and you're going to flip it the other direction and curl it back toward where we started at the center. And we're just going to continue this process until we get them all folded up or all rolled in. Paper rolls just like ribbon does. You just have to be a little more careful not to tear it. That one I almost, almost tore. One of the ways that you can get them to stay together is just fold them a little bit at, the, at the, the corner down here. So I'm going to continue doing this. And then once we have all six of them put together, or all six of them rolled, we're going to construct our snowflake. Now if you're building a star, you might want to only add five of the six squares. Or if you wanted a six-pointed star, you could go ahead and use the six. Or if you wanted to add even more, you could do that. Make them real unique. One of the other things that I considered doing was using uh, paper that was two different colors. It would be really neat to see this done with one side of the paper one color and another side of the paper a different color. It would add some real depth and dimension to the ornament. Okay, so now you can see I've got one of my six squares completely done. We have them going back and forth. You can see how they're together like that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take all of our completed squares, and I have all of mine done, and we are going to connect them. Okay, one of the things that I did notice when I was putting them together is the easiest way to do that is to go ahead and fold the corner down 
so that you have a flat, a flat area like this. And then go ahead and take um, just a little piece of scotch tape or double-sided tape would actually work the best. I don't have any double-sided tape with me at the moment, so we'll just go ahead and use scotch tape. And you place the scotch tape just on that, on that, flat, on that flat edge. The next one, then you would do the same thing. Fold that corner over and um, we're just going to add it right to right to the other one. Obviously that first one really didn't need a piece of tape, but uh, so it's going to go like so. Oops, there we go. And then you just keep adding um, the next piece of tape would go here and it would continue to go this way. And when you get them all together, you end up with an ornament that looks like this. Another option that you might want to try is taking uh, just a needle and thread and threading each of them into place. And then you could even hang it from your Christmas tree. Thanks for joining us today for our homemade Christmas craft episode of Paper Snowflakes or Stars.